Hello folks, my name is Miguel Cosio. I'm a teaching artist with RS Westchester. Uh, welcome to the Virtual Arts Workshops. Uh, today I have a couple of fun projects for you. The first one is Paper Flowers, Flores de Papel. It's a great project for the little ones. And Paper Flowers we use in Mexico uh, to decorate the altars for Day of the Dead, El Dia de los Muertos. Um, the second project is a little bit more intricate. In Mexico, we know by the name of papel picado. It's a technique that uh, people use in Mexico to create a lot of different folk items. And the one we're going to do today is paper banners, also used in Mexico for El Dia de los Muertos. And the paper we use for all these uh, items is uh, colored tissue paper, papel de China, and that's because uh, China paper, and that's because in Mexico, in colonial times, there was uh, trading between uh, China and Mexico, and one of these items arrived in Mexico, and since then has been a big hit. Uh, people have been doing a lot of different folk arts uh, with this uh, with this uh, material. So, are you guys ready? Okay, folks. So the first project we're going to do is a paper flower. Uh, for that, we're going to need uh, tissue paper, colored tissue paper, we're going to need scissors, and we're going to need a pipe cleaner. Uh, the size of the, uh, of the papers can vary, you know, we want to make a smaller flower or a bigger flower. This is kind of a standard flower, this is about, this is uh, 10 inches by 15 inches. They are all the same size, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to place your first paper flat on the table facing you the long way. Then you're going to use your, you're going to bring your second paper and you're going to place it on top of the first one, matching your corners, make sure uh, that doesn't need to be too perfect guys, okay? And then the last paper will go on top, okay, perfect. Now you're going to, uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make uh, fold, you're going to start folding your paper starting from the bottom all the way to the top. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your paper about this size. This is about inch and a half approximately. We're doing everything by eye guys. Make a nice straight fold, you crease your paper. Now when you, we're going to flip the paper because we're trying to do like a paper fan. So make sure that when you flip your paper the uh, the fold paper remains at the bottom. So your fold remains at the bottom and then you make another fold. So that's the way we're going to do it all the way to the top. Okay, see? Now paper flowers are used for many many uh, occasions. We use them in Mexico for Day of the Dead. Uh, you can use them also to decorate a space where you're having a, like a celebration or you can give them as a gift to your mom now that it's coming, uh, mom's day. Alright, so we keep folding and folding. Now if you end up with half, half a paper, don't worry, just keep folding it the way it should go. Okay? and flatten your paper, press, so it stays like nice, like this. Now you're going to have your uh, pipe cleaner, you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to bring it here, and you're going to wrap around your paper like this. Make sure it's all the way down, and when you look at it, make sure that it's in the middle, okay? Flatten it, good. And now when you make the first twist, make sure that it's tying your paper. So when you move your, when you shake your flower, it doesn't move. You need to be really tight. And twist it all the way to the bottom. Okay guys, very good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our scissors and just on the short edges, we're gonna do some cuts. Now there's different cutouts you can make. You can make triangles, you can make waves. In this case, I'm gonna do a simple one because these are for the little ones. So we're gonna make fringes. Now when you're making the fringes, make sure 
you don't go too deep. Okay, on both short ends. Great guys, very good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, open one of the sides of the flower like this. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to separate one paper from the next. This is one of the hardest parts of making the flower. Uh, try to make it carefully because this paper rips. So remember we have three papers, so we are separating the three of them. Okay, try to go all the way to the, cent to the center. Same with the other side, okay? For this, maybe you're gonna need the help of your mom or an adult. Okay guys, and we're going to turn it upside down, we're going to shape it a little bit more. And then we're going to turn it like this, and we're going to grab our two fingers like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to press, we're going to press, pull it all the way to the top, like this. You're going to listen to the sound and then we finish shaping it. And shaping the flower. And you can place perfume in it if you want. So voila guys, paper flower. So this is gonna be your second project. Uh, we're gonna do a paper banners. Uh, paper banners are uh, made with uh, color tissue paper, uh, we're going to need a scissor, we're going to need liquid glue, and we're going to need a string. Now, uh, this is one of many pieces about the same size that will go uh, on a string. Uh, this can be great for a group project. So, uh, and the size can be uh, this size, which is uh, 15 by 10, or it can be a little bit bigger. All right. So ready guys? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper. You're going to place your paper flat on the table in a horizontal way. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half like a book. Doesn't need to be too perfect, okay guys? Flatten your edge, make a nice creep. And then we're going to fold it again in half. And then one more time. So we are doing it like three times. Fold it in half each time. So you're gonna you're gonna end up with something like this. Alright? So we're gonna cut one of the short edges, just one of them. So choose a shape. It can be a triangle, it can be a semicircle. I'm gonna just choose a, a simple triangle by cutting the corners. flat on top and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold the paper once and then unfold it again so we go back to square one remember when we when we fold our paper in half so we're gonna place our cutout edge on the bottom and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the flat edge matching the cutout edge Flip it and the color edge will be facing us on the bottom. Now if you notice there's a line in the middle, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring one of the top corners all the way to that line. Like if we were making a paper airplane guys. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other top corner. Now make sure they don't overlap. Okay. 
okay so we have something like this and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it backwards okay we're gonna hold it like this and we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna chop the top and then we're gonna work on this long side and this long side we're not gonna do anything on the bottom now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some cutouts uh, what shape whatever shape you like irregular shapes I suggest more than the standard triangular shapes make interesting shapes make every shape different um, I suggest bringing your paper all the way to the back of the scissor press and at the same time that you're pressing you're moving your paper that's when you're gonna get more options with your shapes now the next thing I suggest to do is leave a space in between shapes and create your second shape Same on the other side. Let's go, guys. And remember, space in between shapes. That's it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it very carefully because this paper rips really easy. And remember the first cutouts we did on the on the very uh, on the very short edge. That's going to be at the bottom. Now we're going to place a line of glue close to the flat edge on top, and then we're going to bring our string. going to place it right in the on top of that line of glue and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to fold our paper voila guys what do you think nice right cool So that's all for now folks, hope you like it, hope you had fun, uh, you can always go to artsw.org to see more virtual arts workshops and I'll see you soon, hasta la vista.